Today let's learn about the MAX 7219 8x8 LED matrix modules. You can use these modules to display simple animations, emojis, symbols, letters or even combine multiple of these displays to show text messages. In this video, we'll understand the basics of this module and also learn how to use it with a microcontroller like Arduino. Let's start with the name of the module. The module is called 8x8 LED matrix module because it has 8 LEDs in the row and 8 LEDs in the column with a total of 64 LEDs what appears like a matrix. It also has the name MAX7219 because the module has a display driver IC which you can see inside here and the part number for this display driver IC is MAX7219. Hence, this whole module is called as MAX7219 8 x 8 LED matrix module. Taking a look at the pinout, you can see that our module over here has pins on both the side. Normally, we will be using only these 5 pins, which is the VCC, we will be providing the 5 volt over here, the ground pin, the D in, which stands for data in, the CS, which stands for chip select, and the CLK, which stands for clock. We will be using only these 5 pins and these 5 pins over here are needed only if you are adding more displays. Say for example, if you want 3 more dot matrix displays to be cascaded, the technical term is called daisy chaining. In that case, we will be using these 5 pins. But for this tutorial, we will be only using these 5 pins. To get a better understanding, we have shown the module as two parts over here. So what we have done is we have removed this display module separately and shown the board separately. The most important component on this board is the MAX7219 display driver IC. What you have to understand is this 8x8 matrix module has 64 LEDs and as you can see there are just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 on each side. There are just 16 pins which are being connected to this display driver IC. So how did we reduce this 64 LEDs into 16 pins? To understand that, we have to take a look at this diagram over here. Now what you can see here are individual LEDs. There are 8 LEDs here and 8 LEDs here forming a matrix just like it is on our module over here. And as we know, each LED has an anode and cathode. Now what we have done here is we have connected all the anode pins and all the cathode pins to form a matrix. And with this setup, we can easily actually access any individual LEDs with just these 16 pins. Let me tell you how. Say you want to control this particular LED over here, you can see that the anode of this LED is connected to this pin, pin number 3 and the cathode of this LED is connected to pin number 4. So if we just by using pin number 3 over here and pin number 4 over here, we will be able to control this particular LED. Similarly, for any LED in this matrix, if we know the row number and the column number, we will be able to turn on that particular LED. So this is how we can just use 16 pins to control 64 LEDs. Interesting, right? Okay, now we know how we can control all the 64 LEDs by just using 16 pins. Now let's go back to this setup over here to understand how these 16 pins are connected to the display driver IC and how this display driver IC is allowing us to control all the LEDs by just using these 5 pins. To understand that, let's take a look at this circuit diagram. So this is the complete circuit diagram of our module over here. It shows how this display is connected to our MAX7219 display driver IC which is present inside this module as you can see over here. So this diagram shows how this 16 pins are connected to the display driver IC. It's pretty much simple. All the 8 row pins are connected to the IC and the 8 column pins are also connected to the IC. And this IC is smart enough to just get data from one single pin which is the DN pin and using that data it will know how to control these LEDs by controlling the respective row and column pin. 
to understand it better let's take a look at this circuit diagram over here so this ic is being programmed the data is coming into this ic from a microcontroller like arduino and that data is actually byte information like this using this information the ic is able to control the display module and create any design that we want to create i have just shown a simple example here to make things easy to understand as you can see there are eight bytes of data over here to control these eight rows and each byte has eight bits to control the respective leds so this is the code that you will be writing in your arduino ide or any programming environment and this code will be given to this ic using the data in pin and with that code it will know which led to control see here for example zero means the led is turned off and one means the led is turned on so for the first row it is zero zero triple one zero 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 so it is off off three times on and then three times off similarly you can check for any rows let's check for this row it is zero zero triple one zero 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 so again it is zero zero triple one zero 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 so what's happening here is we will be sending different bytes of data to our ic over here and using that data it will be able to control that particular led and create an animation now another question which might arise is how are we able to control all these rows and columns simultaneously the answer is we are not controlling it take a look at this animation you can see that we are trying to display the letter h on this module but we don't do it straightforward we will be doing it one row at a time and when we do it really fast enough our human eyes will not be able to detect that it is being turned on and off very fast and it appears like we are seeing a single letter h on the display module this technique is called multiplexing and it is very commonly used in led cubes pov displays and other projects okay enough theories let's connect it to a microcontroller like arduino and see how the entire thing works as you can see the connection is very simple we just need the arduino board and the dot matrix display and like i told you we have connected these five pins to the arduino uno the vcc and ground the red and brown wire are connected to the 5 volt and the ground pin of arduino and the D in CS and clock pins are connected to pin number 10, 11 and 13 respectively. With this connection all you have to do is upload the code. I am not going to get in depth of the code for this video but we have given a link in the description which properly explains the code. So you can also check that out. So all you have to do is connect it and power it and your dot matrix display will start working. I hope this video helped you to understand how the entire dot matrix display system works and you learned something useful. If that is yes, please subscribe to this channel and also check out our other videos. That being said, this is Ashwinth. Have a good day. Bye-bye.